In early September, Pino and I headed to the exquisite medieval hill town of Bertinoro called Il Balcone della Romagna. This Emilia Romagna hill town is certainly a balcony of splendor. We chose a hotel right near the main square where the events of a great festival would be taking place. A delicious breakfast was spread out for us. And after breakfast, we headed into Piazza della Libertà, passing the magnificent Palazzo Ordilafi to head to the Colonna delle Anella, also called the Column of Hospitality, La Colonna dell'Ospitalità. It's linked to an event of the 13th century when a judge of the town, Guida del Duca, with his dear friend, Arrigo Mainardi, decided that the town had to enter a period of harmony and peace. It was a time of feuds among the noble families. So a column was set up in the main square, 12 rings were attached to it, different families of the town took temporary possession of a ring. When a pilgrim came into the town, he tied his horse at the ring or he slid his walking staff into the ring. Whatever family was in possession of that ring then hosted the visitor, offering him hospitality. So Bertinoro is now famous as La Città dell'Ospitalità and the Festa dell'Ospitalità was initiated in 1926 to recall this tradition. We were very fortunate to attend this year the 97th edition of La Festa dell'Ospitalità. And now for the Festa dell'Ospitalità, horses are not tied to the rings, pilgrim staffs are not inserted into the rings, there are pieces of paper attached to the rings, and they're the names of families or restaurants which will be offering hospitality to the visitor. So when you're in Bertinoro for the Festa dell'Ospitalità, go up and take a card from a ring of the column and see where you'll be enjoying a festa meal with people from Bertinoro, the very hospitable Bertinoresi. We left behind us the Colonna delle Anella or the Colonna dell'Ospitalità to walk into the Contrada Mainardi, which is the Jewish quarter established in the 14th century. Magnificent structures here with extraordinary details that one looks out for, including terracotta tiles sculpted here and there in the midst of the brick. Truly a delightful neighborhood. But then we headed back to the main square for the start of the events of the Festa dell'Ospitalità, 97th edition. And this will be a magnificent edition of the Festa dell'Ospitalità. Coming into the main square will be trumpeters, drummers, preceding the banner wavers of Forlimpopoli, small town about seven kilometers from Bertinoro, called Sbandieratori, the banner wavers and they are quite famous. They've even participated in the Columbus Day festivities in New York City. They perform all over. Bertinoro is hosting them today. Following the drummers and the sbandieratori, little ones as well as older ones, come citizens of Bertinoro in Renaissance dress into the main square. Little ones, older ones, all very proud to be celebrating the Festa dell'Ospitalità. And here they come, into the square, the drummers of Bertinoro, with verses and costume, little ones, all ages, on the last day of their Festa dell'Ospitalità. Castle of Bertinoro. 